On the hottest evening of the year, the Toronto Inline Skating Club heats up the track at a high school in the city's West End. Well, the speed is something else. On a track like this, we'll hit, you know, 45 kilometers an hour. If we're doing a race uh, with a uh, few hills, we can hit upwards of 80 to, uh, in extreme cases, 100 kilometers an hour. Oh my God. Yeah. On the surface, comparisons between speed skating on the track and on the ice are natural, but those who do both know the differences. On ice, you at least have a helmet and a skin suit on, some cut proof stuff, but... And, and then slide. Yes, and then you slide into the board. You don't have to worry about falling and scraping your face off, which I've done twice. Oh no, really? Yep. Keeping the track clean helps, but falls happen from time to time. Alain Quintard is one of the oldest skaters here, but relatively new to the sport. What I like is, you know, you're moving, you're seeing uh, lots of things around. That, that most of the trails, they are along the lake. And obviously, this is a good, uh, good uh, workout. I'd like two groups for the warm-up. The okay. club is open to athletes of all ages and ability. The they do the same workout at their own speed. The fastest skaters here are hoping to qualify to race at the 2015 Toronto Pan Am Games. Now, the sport isn't part of the Olympic program, and so the Pan Am Games are a big deal, especially since they'll be competed on home soil. That would be awesome. My parents could come down. They actually never saw me race internationally, so it would be really awesome to have my parents over and, and see me race with the uh, top girls in, uh, in America. Inline skaters will be looking to align their Pan Am dreams just over a year from now. Debbie Lytle-Kwan, CBC News, Toronto.